I've never felt this before in a joint. It actually creaks. The way it is at the moment, you wouldn't even think you'd have six months. It's all right. Good boy. The Zenos family are preparing to bring in their crippled two-year-old Diesel to see Chris. See how long it takes him to sit? You should see him try to get out. Diesel's part of the family, so it's a case of when he's suffering, we suffer. To, to, to seem uncomfortable, uh, yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. At just seven months of age, the golden retriever slipped and fell and was taken to a vet for what should have been a routine knee operation. Diesel. The surgery was unsuccessful, and now Diesel struggles just to get around. It's really hard because he's still so young, and he does want to run, and he does want to play, and he just can't. Well, he's like a little brother to me, and like, I really love him, so we just want him to get better. It, it makes us sad as well. We rang every single vet in Bondi until I found Dr Chris Brown because Emmanuel and I swear by the show Bondi Vet. So we're hoping that he'll be able to help Diesel and us. Come on, buddy. Right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Excellent. Don't he's not light. No, no. he's not. <laughs> Philip, Andrea and their son Emmanuel arrive at the clinic with the badly incapacitated Diesel. OK, let's have a look at this leg here. I've never felt this before in a joint. It actually creaks. What worries me is what causes creaking is, is bone rubbing on bone. Ooh. And can that be rectified or...? We just don't know. We'll have to look at the x-rays to, to know for sure. The way it is at the moment, you wouldn't even think you'd have six months of good life on that leg. You ready? Yep. The question now is whether Diesel's leg can be fixed. This is probably the shot that, that he's going to tell us really the, the plan for Diesel, it's a very critical moment. I am struggling. I think it's worse than what I thought. I guess we've got to wait and see and put our trust in Chris. I mean, that's why we're here. You can see the good one, it looks good. It, it's long, it's, it's slender, but you go across to the left leg, which is the bad one, and it just looks moth-eaten. It looks as though, almost as though the bone's dissolving. That joint is unstable. It's just not doing what it was meant to do. We'll do our best to make him right, alright? He's a good boy. We won't put him down. We definitely won't put him yeah, down. Yeah, that's not even that's... consideration. We'll try and, I'd rather know. take him home like this than put him down. It's all too much for Emmanuel. It's alright. And you're going to be his best ally. Definitely. <laughs> If you keep happy around him, he's going to stay happy. He's going to have all the energy and all the drive to really fight through this. Right? I'm not sure if he's ready for his own legs just yet. Because of the complexity of the surgery and the equipment required to even give Diesel a chance of walking normally again, I'm going to have to refer him to our specialist surgeon at SASH. Yes, the thing is for me, this family deserves such a good outcome. And I really hope they get it. Come on. Good boy. Get away, Andrew. Copy here, he says. I don't know him. No. Chris has referred the crippled two year old Diesel to surgeon down. Andrew Marchevsky at SASH. Oops. Oops. There you go. Come on. We are at the very least going to have to open the joint up yep. and have a look what's going on inside. After looking at the x rays of the damaged knee, Andrew isn't prepared to make too many promises about Diesel's future. For me to say to you, he is not going to have any pain ever again, I can't say that. If we are unsuccessful getting him better than he is, I'm not sure that it's fair to keep going with him. And I, it's not something that his parents want to even think about. Andrea and Philip's son, Emmanuel, has refused to come to the hospital. The 11-year-old is not coping with the thought of his best friend going under the knife. And it was his birthday yesterday, and his birthday wish was for Diesel to be better. Yeah. So, hopefully... Yeah. But if we can't get him better than, than this, I don't think that's a quality of life for him that's, that's worth persevering with. Be brave, OK? Good boy. Diesel is ready for his major leg surgery. Come on. You'll have to come with him now. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think he was starting to tremble there. He realised that we weren't going in the whole way. Okay, we better go. He's not going to cooperate. No. Now that he's nervous, I'm nervous. It's hard to know exactly how bad that is, but it's certainly bad enough that we, there's got to be some damage to his cruise ship. Anyway, we'll know soon enough. We're just going to do an arthrotomy, which means open up the joint and have a look and see what's going on inside. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll then look at seeing what we can do to stabilise his joint. not been a happy joint for a long time. A needle in a haystack. As surgery continues, Andrew makes a surprise discovery. This cruciate is actually intact. The cause of Diesel's problem is not the cruciate ligament as first thought, but a badly dislocated kneecap. Unfortunately for Diesel, I think this finding is actually worse for him. Uh, it's just uh, going to make it even harder to get that knee functional. Andrew now needs to drag the kneecap back into its original groove. After 17 months of deterioration, it's going to be a tough challenge. This yes, I'm cutting off the front portion of the shin bone, which is where the kneecap tendon attaches to the shin. And I've got to move that part of the bone around so it lines up better. Oh, this bone's so soft. Mm. Unfortunately, there's a chance this won't work. Good boy, take it easy. Just take it easy. Good boy. You're rearing the go, aren't you? At Sash, Andrew is now optimistic about Diesel's recovery, despite his worries during the complex knee surgery. He's quite comfortable on it, and when you move it up and down and flex it up, it's not as crunchy as it was before the surgery, so oh, that's, that's a good sign. Good boy. Oh, slow it down. But it will take at least six weeks rehabilitation before Andrew will know whether the operation has been a success. He's a bit of a nut, and he's just going to do something silly when he gets home and try and charge up and down a set of stairs, or, and he's, I just fear that he's going to blow this thing apart, so... Oh, he's very silly. Go on, Diesel. Yeah. How are you going, guys? Hello. Do you want to come home? Yeah. Remember, you've got to promise to be very good. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have your hands full, you really are. Yeah. Okay. Andrew is just going to have a heart in the mouth the whole time. They've just got to look after him so well. They've got to support his back end with a towel. I mean, it's just going to be a... Uh, just a 24-hour effort for them. Look, Truly, take him home, see how you go. If you're having a heart attack with him, yeah. bring him back. Okay. We don't mind having him. Slowly, Diesel. Come on, Diesel, slowly, mate. So take your time, it's okay. Come on, Diesel. Come on, good boy. Diesel, who found it difficult just to walk a few weeks ago, is now able to run and play with his family after major knee surgery. Diesel! It's like a, we've got a different dog. It's like we handed him a dog and got another one back. He's just healthy, he's happy, he's not in any pain. He's got energy to play with the kids. He's, he's going swimming. That's a big fella. All the things we wanted to do with him before we couldn't, and now it's, it's, it's fantastic. Hi, Chris. How are you? This is... This is Diesel. The new one improved. This is the turbo diesel. Look at you. <laughs> Diesel's running style may not be perfect, but he finally has real quality of life. Come on, come on. I don't know what we would have done if we didn't find Chris. Definitely between uh, Chris and Sash, it's... Uh, Best call I made. <laughs> he's having fun, he's having a ball. Hi, I'm Dr Kate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, go and support us by checking out Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com. You'll find a whole range of great Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.